Hi guys, this is Haley, also known as HMW Haley, and you're watching Libro Incredible. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, thank you guys. Well, okay, it's Vaz Beauty, bitch. <laughs> and it's Libro Incredible, and we got <laughs> so, so much. much. What's up? What's that? <laughs> you well, already you know. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, don't you? You like that? Yeah, Yo, Snicky <laughs> smash the homie. <laughs> Yo, I think she really did fuck the ball up. I, I swear, I kid you not. No girl's gonna act like like that. Like she's too guilty. It's written all over her face and the way she acts. <laughs> she's she's hiding something. The bitch is exactly. hiding something. <laughs> exactly. This is uh, this is part two to our Jersey Shore series. You know, um, badass beauty. She did, she couldn't make it in the first one, so I uh -huh. had to do it on on the solo tip or whatever. Oh, um, this is about episode two and whatnot <laughs> and uh we both think that snooki smashed the homie uh, i don't think i know she smashed the homie i know she did she but keep it g would you be acting like that if you didn't smash if you if didn't I let trying to hide something from yeah. gianni if i was in her shoes yeah i would make sure we go straight to the bedroom so that mike would the situation couldn't start no shit <laughs> for sure <laughs> if you were trying to hide it and keep it you know a, a secret and you know his boy unit he was up in there you know talking mm -hmm. shit you know she's all scared and trembling oh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry unit yeah right you know you hide some guilty so guilty i think it's like i think it's she she um she tried to say that she um she didn't have sex with mike and if she had sex with Mike, she would told she would have told Gianni because she had sex with Vinny, but and she told Gianni. But I think that if she told Gianni that she fucked Mike, then Gianni wouldn't really want to fuck with her ever again. Uh -uh, no, no, no. So that's why I think she's just like bugging out like that. Yeah, she don't want to admit to something old like that because it's old. You know what I mean? And then for it to come up, you know, out of the blue, it would probably hurt him more than something recent. I mean. She she messed with Vinny when she was so called upset and they took a break. Not yeah. only was still with Gianni when it was said that you know they were watching Ryder and Unit get it on and they were feeling each other and all of a sudden they, you know, it went in the, the penis went in the vagina. You know, I'm just saying this was a problems. I don't <laughs> know. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, no, no. I know what I want to say. Yo, I swear to God. This girl went hard tonight. This girl went hard, right? Tell me why. Paul D brought a bitch home. He brought a chick home, right? Yeah. Pushed that. He hit that. He tapped that. I mean, she was be she was hot. She was hot. I tapped that. <laughs> yeah, she was bad. She was bad. He tapped that, right? He was trying to send her home all early, four o'clock in the morning, called cab. Yeah, she went around. She picked up his necklace, his diamond <laughs> necklace, and slipped that shit right in her vagina. I died. <laughs> oh. She slicked though, cause she 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 did that smooth. She did it so she could come back the next day. You know, try to play that shit off. Whatever. She slicked. In all, in all seriousness, I thought she was gonna really take that chain and, and never come back. Take it back. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the same thing. I thought the same thing at first. And when she I was like, back up, I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, that bitch wasn't DTF. That bitch was DTS. She was down to steal, nigga. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> they turned from DTF to DTS. I don't know if she was planning that from the get-go. Like, yeah, I spot that. <laughs> Shiny shit around his neck in the club. Let me holler at that real fast. I don't know, but yeah, she, went, went on, she went home with him pretty quick. I mean. Yeah, she did. He said she was the definition of DTF, so, <laughs> I mean. Damn. Fucking Mike! Mike brought a uh, nice looking chick home too, though. I was like, she alright. And it was weird because it looked like she was with a guy when she walked up to him. Yeah. And he knew her name straight off the bat. He was like, Paula. Came home with me. I was like, oh, wow, uh -huh. oh, God, <laughs> you must got it like that. <laughs> hey, um, what you? I was kind of like, I was kind of shocked that Vinny went home so early. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he, I don't like that. Well, I, I guess, I mean, for me to say, I, I have a friend that suffers from depression and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, I swear it's like they get sad and they feel depressed. It's not just that they're sad. They feel like 
everything's coming caving in on them at once so they feel like there's a great big burden or they just feel like overwhelmed in whatever situation or environment that they're in and they just need yeah. like a break they don't need to be cheered up they don't need someone to sing them a song someone to take them laundry someone to take them dancing someone to take them tanning no they need to get out of the environment and they got to do something different because sometimes people get tired of the same routine sometimes it's just you know people you're really close with that you miss and stuff like that but um people like us that don't have depression and stuff like that we'll never fully understand it how a person yeah. feels unless we have that you know and it's not like it's you know a mental disorder or anything like that it's actually like you get diagnosed with it so you know it's, it's a serious thing people take like for granted they laugh at it they joke about it oh he's a mama's boy this and that that and this but it's actually something that a lot of Americans have and you can't just say it's sadness it's actual depression you know he needed to he needed to get up out of there for real because it wasn't gonna do anything but bring everybody else down everybody else is gonna be sad it's mm -hmm. very catchy so that's how I felt but I mean I, I mean <laughs> I will say one funny thing though. I swear, Paulie looked like he was gonna cry. I thought he was too. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, I, yeah, I said, yo, this nigga's, but he definitely about to cry. It's, it's becoming a bro. It's a bromance moment right now. He's he's crying." <laughs> Alright, alright, all right. let's wrap this shit up, man. Thanks for watching part one, and this is part two. Uh, stay tuned for part three, and etc. Et Trace. <laughs> <laughs> I said Trace. Oh shit! Cut it out. <laughs>